say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fights all the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave oh the land of the free and the home of the brave good evening and welcome to the graduation ceremony for the class of 2021 for Bright Star Secondary Charter Academy. My name is Daryl Garris, and it's an honor to celebrate with you. Before we begin our program, I would like to take an opportunity to thank all of our Bright Star School staff, students, and families for your dedication, flexibility, creativity, and support. Our staff has continually worked to provide our students with the highest quality education possible our families have been gracious with us as we transitioned online, and our students have persevered to continue to do their best amidst all the challenges of the year. Even when we are physically apart, our Bright Star family is stronger together. We are also stronger together with our many partners who provide for our students and families. We are grateful to After School All Stars, for inspiring our students through a balance of academic, artistic, wellness, and leadership opportunities, as well as a safe space to spend their time online after school. Though we spent most of the year completely online, our partners at Los Angeles Southwest College continue to open doors of academic opportunity and athletics facilities access. Thank you to President Dr. Wan, the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department, and the entire team at LASC for keeping our Bright Star family safe, as well as for your patience as we repeatedly readjusted our reopening timelines and sports schedules. Seniors, tonight we celebrate your achievement in reaching an important milestone, high school graduation. Your years at high school and your graduation may not look or feel like what you had anticipated, but that is all the more reason to celebrate this accomplishment. Tonight is not only a celebration of our students, but also our entire Bisca family. Students, families, staff, board members, partners, friends, and community. Though only our students' names will be called in tonight's ceremony, we know that they did not reach this point alone. If we were in person, I would now ask our seniors to thank our audience with a standing ovation and round of applause. Instead, seniors, please take a moment to hug your loved ones, text a staff member, or express your gratitude in another way that is safe and within public health guidelines. Before addressing our graduates, I'd also like to recognize that there are individuals who are part of our journey to this moment, who are no longer with us physically to celebrate. Please join me in a moment of silence in remembrance of all the loved ones of our students, families, and staff that have passed away. Class of 2021, whether you became part of our school family last year, 
you were singing, Do You Want to Build a Snowman? in fifth grade back in 2013. Or you joined somewhere in between. We've been through a lot together. And I've had the time of my life with you. For years, I've shared the adage of make good choices, which honestly is not incredibly descriptive and risks opening our own and others' choices up to judgment. But it's short, catchy, and my best summary of how I hope you'll put into practice all that you've learned. In short, this is me trying. Though one might expect that I'd have a very long flow chart of variables and conditional statements to optimize decision making, today I'll share my own non-scientific, incomplete, and imperfect guidance to make good choices. Are you ready for it? You know this one well, safety first. No, I'm not recommending that you do an excessive number of fire drills like we did back at 98th Street, but I am recommending that you prioritize safety, health, and well-being, physical and mental. While it appears we may soon be out of the woods with COVID, there are still many everyday risks to manage, regardless of whether you are shopping in a store, behind the wheel of a car, or surfing the internet. Be safe please. Next, make choices that do well by others and recognize that others' needs are more important than our own wants. The recent reckonings with the historical and present-day injustices of our world have brought a long overdue focus on dismantling systems of oppression into the broader public conversation. However, we must do more than just talk. Our choices must match our words. Please commit yourself to continue enacting our values beyond today by being actively anti-racist and serving as a champion for equity in order to uplift yourself, your loved ones, and our communities. Your choices are your own, which means they should be aligned to your goals. As you step into this next chapter, you have a renewed opportunity to ensure your choices are true to who you are and where you want to go. As you explore the freedoms and bear the responsibilities of life after high school, you may find yourself so passionate about something that others say, you need to calm down. But that likely means that you found something that matters to you deeply and is worth pursuing. Hold on to what drives you and make choices that bring you closer to your goals and your purpose. Lastly, make choices that lean into growth. While our high school education is over, we are all continually learning and growing. Part of learning also includes unlearning harmful beliefs and habits that do not serve us and others. Through this process, we all make mistakes, and those are opportunities for more learning so please expect and embrace imperfection. While this may seem simple, safety first, serve others, align to your goals, and embrace growth, I am not oblivious to the challenges that we do now and will face ahead. I hope I provided you with some useful guidance on making choices in the years to come. But when in doubt, choose kindness, choose compassion, and choose love, both for others and yourself. Although there's a long list of things we've taught you in your time with us, I hope above all you've learned this. You are enough, you are worthy, and you matter. Even if you're still trying to find a place in this world or not yet where you'd like to be, who you are, what you do, and what you say, you matter. Thanks to all of you, I'll never be the same. But some things never change, and that includes how much we care about you. Please remember you have a home in our school family for evermore, which Merriam-Webster defines as forever and always. Yes, with that, I've now referenced 
every single Taylor Swift album. And while it makes me selfishly sad to say, see you later to all of you, in her words, it's time to go. Although our seniors will no longer be students at our school, they will forever be part of the Bright Star Schools family. The Bright Star Schools alumni support and college success program supports all of our graduates free of charge in thriving in higher education for up to six years following high school graduation. Please join me in welcoming the class of 2021's alumni support and college success coordinator, Mr. Mike Carrera. Good afternoon, BISCA students and families. My name is Mike Carrera. I am the alumni support coordinator here at BISCA. Congratulations, class of 2021. I've had the pleasure of knowing most of you for the last four years, and some of you a little more when you guys would wander onto the BISCA campus from Stella at the old 98 campus. I've seen most of you grow and mature to the, gradu the graduates you are today. It might seem like the work is done, but it's only, it has only started. You should embrace today's accomplishment with your loved ones. It's been a long, long journey. Restless nights, preparing for exams, long days at the Biscuit campus, and going to school in the pandemic. Take some time and live in the moment. It's been a difficult 14 months. Some of you will be going off to college, and some of you will be joining the workforce. You will soon find out that being an adult is not what it's cut out to be. You will start paying your own bills, driving your own car, and spending your own money. No more give me, give me, give me, mom and dad. Those days will soon fade away. Initially, we believe they would only be off campus till spring break. It's been more than a few days since March 19, 2020. But even with all the adversity you faced, you've persevered and made the best out of this situation. I'm sure most of you guys don't miss waking up at crack of dawn, taking the bus from New Life. But, I'm sure, but I sure miss your faces on campus. For most of you, you'll be the first in your family to attend college or the first time in your life that you'll be working. It's important to always advocate for yourself, ask questions, um, and have goals. Strive for the best version of yourself. Don't settle. The sky's the limit. You are now part of the Alumni and College Success Program. The Bright Star School Alumni Support and College Success Program offers robust, holistic, and academic social-emotional support. Your, your higher education path will likely be as unique as you are. I will support you in navigating through higher education so that you thrive, persisting, and graduate from a two or four year university, vocational school, or job training program. My goal is to help you become prepared for a sustainable career that will give you joy and economic success. Thank you so much and you have a great day. Hello, class of 2021, families, friends, BISCA, and everyone else in between. I was given the opportunity to speak to all of you and I'm glad that I was given that chance. Over the course of four years, I have learned, grown, and realized many things. I know that Many of the students at BISCA came from Stella with friendships that were so strong, and they only got stronger over the course of our high school careers. I came from a different middle school, but I felt a warm feeling simply looking at the friendships and connections that everyone had, whether they were between friends, teachers, counselors, or staff. There was always a sensation of home residing in the words and actions of everyone at BISCA. Now, as corny as that may sound, it's all true. I've met a variety of people during these four years. Those who have a knack for sports and competition, those who excel in cooperative environments, those who laugh along with a teacher in a simple conversation, those who travel with their friend groups everywhere, those who encourage their friends to take AP courses with them, and those who stand up for what they believe in no matter who they're up against. Now, every person I've had a conversation with has left an impression on me and I will never forget them. Speaking of never forgetting something, I think it's safe to say that our high school experience is something we won't ever forget. I mean, we finished it off going online and that's something we've never heard of before. I will admit, as comfortable as it was going to class in pajamas and a blanket, I wish we had finished it off in person. 
we were all looking forward to our senior activities. But besides from that, I miss being surrounded by, the pe by my peers, even if I didn't have too much of a close relationship with them. I miss hearing you all laugh, make jokes, stress over work, trying frantically to help each other out, or simply trying to include everyone. And that's something not many people do. We were all looking forward to our senior activities because it was a time for us to celebrate everything we had accomplished or been through, whether it was together or by ourselves during this time. To celebrate all those sports games, past math tests, house cup competition, spirit week activities, tears shed during finals and AP testing, and even the school bus rides home. Thank you to all my peers because you made my high school experience as unique and memorable as it can possibly be. You have so much talent, creativeness, ambition, passion, determination, and dedication to everything that you do. I implore you to keep that fire burning within yourselves and never forget that you changed someone's life. Certainly the adults at Bisca and certainly mine. No matter what you plan to do, whether it's continuing academic studies, going to the workforce, supporting your family, representing a bigger group, or simply discovering yourself, I want you to continue changing the lives of those you come across and to share what you have to offer with the world. Now, I have a couple more thanks to give, so if you can hang in there for just a little bit longer, I would really appreciate it. Thank you to everyone at BISCA, our teachers, the staff, and our counselor. You all inspired me and many other students to try their hardest in our classes. Thank you for doing your best to understand our struggles, uplifting us during hard times, or simply taking the time to listen to us. I know you all work so hard to make lesson plans interactive and fun, to make school activities run as efficiently and as smoothly as possible, to prepare us for this next chapter of our lives. You have all shaped what the image of a true inspiration is in our eyes, and I know that we'll never forget it. Finally, I want to give a special thanks to my parents. From a young age, I noticed how much they sacrificed for me, and I realized that there's so much I want to give back. However, when I bring that up, they tell me, if you want to give back to us, then live your life to the fullest, and that's more than enough. So I dedicate this highlight of my life to them. Gracias, mami y papi, por todo lo que han hecho. Una vez les dediqué algo así, pero les quiero dedicar otra vez. Gracias por tu apoyo durante estos 18 años de mi vida. Yo sé que aunque estaban cansados, estresados o preocupados, hacían lo que pudieran para hacerme feliz. Ahora sé que esto va a ser algo difícil no solo para mí, pero para ustedes también. Nunca pensábamos que iba a irme tan lejos y para tanto tiempo, pero mira dónde nos encontramos. Yo sé que están orgullosos y muchas gracias por siempre estar a mi lado. Los amo tanto y nunca lo sabrán. Overall, these four years have been such a unique experience for all of us. I'm glad that our choices led us to crossing paths. And now for the last time that our paths may be intertwined, I want to thank every one of you. So thank you for leaving your mark on my world. Thank you, class of 2021, and congratulations. Eagles fly high, Bisco eagles soar through the skies. We come from all over, we love on each other. My family, my Bisco, my brother, my sister, we all stick together for worse or for better. I love, I love my eagles, my family, my people.
Greetings, everybody. We are at the lovely point where we are graduating high school and starting the next chapter of our lifetimes. Life is a gift, a blessing that is never guaranteed. As humans, we dedicate our time to the areas and things that we love and care for, that we prioritize. So firstly, I wish to say thank you immensely to our teachers, the school staff, the janitors, the lunch ladies, and every single person in this high school who dedicated their precious time to us, to our growth, and to our education. I truly wish you the loveliest that this world has to offer and reassure you that your efforts are incredibly appreciated. For the students, I must praise and congratulate you, us all, for reaching this point, for having earned the privilege of graduating high school because education, in the same way that life is, is a gift. As you go into the outside world, Please keep this in mind. Intelligence, potential, success. These are all things that are in the palms of your hands. And the magic word for it is effort. Also, always remember this. Comparison is nothing short of poison. So don't define yourself by other successes. So, care for yourself. Take accountability. Smile as much as you can. Laugh and work hard. Live hard. Cry happy tears and sad tears when need be, but don't let your sorrows drown the light that is within thee. The world is ever changing, so love what you have for as long as you can. Don't pity yourself, instead live in such a way that you feel pride. I hope you all walk a flowery path. This is our farewell, class of 2021. Welcome families, friends, staff, and class of 2021. My name is Gina Agbani, and I'm the 12th grade counselor at Bright Star Secondary Charter Academy. I have had the honor to work with these amazing students since their ninth grade year. I was even gifted to have new awesome students in our class, both in 10th and 11th grade. We gather here today to celebrate the accomplishments of our class of 2021 seniors. Seniors, you started in ninth grade, awkward, nervous, giggly, and pretty unaware freshmen, but now you have grown into a group of sometimes awkward, semi-nervous, giggly, and sarcastic, and only somewhat unaware 12th graders who still don't check their class of 2021 Google Classroom, thanks to those who did. I can't help but to remember the freshman camp out raising tents and yelling, time to go to bed, out in the quad at the 98th Street campus. That was a time when high school was new and the slate was clean for a fresh start. Fast forward to today. This ceremony, as joyful as it is, it also serves as a reminder that along the four year journey, these seniors, you have been through some things, many triumphs and many challenges that you have worked to overcome. I won't name them all as we all were there and will work toward healing for some time to come. But I can't help but to recognize one particular challenge that you have pushed through a lesson you and we were forced to learn particularly this last year and a half. I know some of you may ask, what lesson? The lesson is that life doesn't always go the way we plan it or the way that's easiest. This reality of life and how we've had to respond to it is what I have come to call the pivot. The word pivot is defined as an adjustment or modification made as to a product, service, or strategy in order to adapt or improve. When I started with these students in freshman year, I would have never thought that we would have had this type of collective experience. An opportunity to learn that as much as we plan for our lives to go from A to Z, this last year and a half taught us that life is not linear like the alphabet. It doesn't simply go from A to Z. It will sometimes take us from A to B, to C, then to G, then to X, then back to A a few more times, and that's okay. When we accept this reality and learn to continually pivot, we turn every challenge and mistake into a lesson and an opportunity to grow our courage and strength and reach our aspirations. To the class of 2021, I encourage you to favorite, like, bookmark, or highlight with your mental highlighter this chapter of your life right now. Yes, I know it wasn't your favorite year, far from it, 
or even something that you may actually want to remember. But it's important not to forget this moment in time. What you've experienced is evidence that you have practiced the pivot. <clears throat> you have made adjustments to adapt and in many cases to survive. You have modified your everyday life while in a vital year of high school. And in spite of the stress and uncertainty, you pivoted. As you enter this next stage of your life and you get nervous, look back on this moment and tell yourself, I did that, I can do this. When you're not quite sure of yourself and not sure what to do next, remind yourself of this moment. I was unsure of how to engage in Zoom classes while also accessing Google Classroom, Google Calendar, Pear Deck, Edpuzzle, and Naviance, and I did that. I can do this. I did virtual school, and in some cases, virtual college applications and other activities while managing my mental and physical health and being present for my family. I did that and I am going to do this. Speak life and power into your moments of uncertainty and the solutions will come. The way we continue to practice the pivot is by being the best version of ourselves. And we do that by loving ourselves, living with hope and learning to take action. Loving ourselves, we have to have compassion when we make the best choices we can in the moment with the resources we have access to when living with hope, we have to remember and hope that tomorrow is just a little bit brighter and a little bit more promising than today. And learning to take action, we have to challenge ourselves to get out of our comfort zone. In time, the pivot will be a tool that will get you through your next class, your next graduation if you so choose, your next job or career path, and the list goes on. Keep pivoting, students. To the families and friends watching, don't let your students forget that they did this, and you did too. Please pat yourselves on the back. Thank you for everything you have contributed to your students' lives and their education and high school experience. As they move forward, they will need you. Life after high school can be tough with the pressure to have things all figured out as an 18-year-old fresh out of high school. But with practicing the pivot, your student will push through the journey, continually growing to be the best version of themselves. It has been an absolute honor to support this class of students, and I look forward to hearing the great things that are to come from them, whatever they may be. Congratulations, class of 2021. I am so, so proud of you.
And now we move to the turning of the tassel. The turning of the tassel from right to left symbolizes a student's transition from candidate to graduate. Students, it's now time to turn your tassel from right to left. Congratulations. Y ahora llegamos al momento de cambiar la borla del birrete de derecha a izquierda. El cambio de la borla de derecha a izquierda simboliza la transición de candidato a graduado. Estudiantes, clase 2021, es hora de cambiar la borla de derecha a izquierda. Felicidades, lo hicieron. <música>